Welcome to Union Town High School for high school basketball action here on Fayette County Television. Brian Morozak along with Steve Subert tonight. The Union Town Red Raiders host the Greensburg Salem Golden Lions in a Section 3 matchup. The Red Raiders 8 and 1 overall, Greensburg Salem 2 and 6, but Steve both of these teams undefeated in conference play. Yeah, both teams undefeated, Brian. Greensburg Salem a much younger team uh, coming in 2 and 6, but two section wins. Coach Mankins thinks they have, you know, have a younger team. The key to the game for Greensburg Salem will be their ability to handle the four court two two one pressure that Union Town's known for. They they know it's coming, just whether or not they can get the ball up across the across half court and stay and get their offensive sets. If they can do that, they got the big guy Boyer, who's six foot five, average almost eleven points a game. He could be a big stopper uh, for Greensburg tonight. Union Town coming off of one of their biggest wins of the season this past Wednesday against Ringgold. We'll try to keep the momentum flowing here today. Right, Union Town is one of the best teams we've seen from Union Town in a long, long time. Because Marski started to hit threes, the defense is playing fantastic. George Pratt getting to the line more than we've seen in a long time, and they got Birdie Winfrey and and. Um, and and a lot of their players are just unbelievable on the defensive end. And anybody at any time can score. It's a fun team to watch. They're very unselfish. And uh, it's, I, I really think this is a, they have a chance, Brian, and I don't want to stop uh, jinx them. They have a chance to go undefeated in section play. Frank Mankins, the new head coach for the Greensburg-Salem Golden Lions this season, taking over for Paul Sapochny, who spent 29 years at the helm of Greensburg-Salem. So obviously an adjustment for the Golden Lions. Yeah, it's going to be a big adjustment. Coach Mankins coming in. He's been here for a couple of years. He has coach Coach Reed on the staff, where he used to be with at Indiana, so he's got some experience. It's just uh, the players were, are the ones that need the experience, Brian. And this is a tough environment here against Uniontown, a very veteran team, and uh, it's going to be a tough night for them. Both of these teams warming up right now. The Uniontown Red Raiders and the Greensburg Salem Golden Lions. Always a heated rivalry between these two teams, and all the action continues tonight here on Fayette County Television. Starting at guard, a 5'10 senior, 10 points a game. Number one, Birdie Winfrey. At guard, a 5'10 senior, 11.5 points a game. Number four, Christian Kazmarski. At guard, a 6'1 junior, 9.5 points a game. Xavier Booty Ellis. At guard, a 6'2 junior, 17.5 points a game. Number 10, Jordan Pratt. And at forward tonight, a 6'2 sophomore, 7 points a game. Number 12. 21, Jeremy Perkins. Taking a look at these starters for the Greensburg Salem Golden Lions, their head coach Craig Menkins in his first season at the helm of the Golden Lions in Greensburg Salem to start at guard, a 5'9 junior. Number two, Simeon Stevens. Stevens averaging 8.8 .8 points a game. Also starting at guard, a 5'8 senior. Number three, Denzel Jackson, averaging 8.7 points a game. And the third guard this evening, a 5'7 freshman, number 22, Sam Wiki, his brother had starred at Greensburg Salem in past seasons, and now Sam, a freshman, getting the start here against the Red Raiders tonight. And Sam averages 7.7 .7 points a game, getting the start at forward. Greensburg Salem's leading scorer so far this season, a 6'5 junior, number 14, Patrick Boyer. Boyer averaging 11.1 .1 points a game and nine rebounds a game for the Golden Lions. And the fifth starter at forward, really the only Golden Lions player who has significant playing experience from a year ago. A 6'2 junior forward, number 35, Max Ponzork, averaging 10.4 points a game and 7 rebounds a game. And Steve, even though over the last 10 years or so, Greensburg-Salem holds an 8-4 advantage over Uniontown as far as victories between the two teams in this series, as of late it's been rather even. Uniontown and Greensburg-Salem split the season series a year ago. Both teams won on their home floor. Uniontown defeated Greensburg-Salem 53-51 here at Uniontown High School, and the Golden Lions won on their home floor, 70-61. to 61. You go back two seasons ago, Uniontown won their first game under Rob Kazmarski at Greensburg-Salem, 51-45, to 45, but Greensburg-Salem won here at Uniontown, 74-40. to 40. Yeah, it's, uh, it's been like that, Brian, and uh, both teams have uh, got great basketball traditions. Uh, just a few years ago, uh, Greensburg-Salem was in the state finals. That uh, was uh, Klimchok years, right? In uh, his senior year, they were uh, in the state championship game they lost but they were they got there so they've done pretty well and they uh, these kids you know have grown up with that success and even though they're only two and six this year they're expected to win they uh, you know that's the way they were brought up 
you know, learning basketball. So I'm sure they're trying to turn this season around. They are. They do have to hang their hat on the fact that they're 2-0 and in section play. So that uh, should give them some uh, sense of confidence. And uh, and this would be a big, big win for their program right now. And for, for Craig Mankins to get a win here at Unitown against a very good Red Raider team. The run that Greensburg-Salem had to the state finals occurred four years ago during the 2008-2009 season. They advanced to the state final game against Archbishop Carroll, losing that contest 75-54. to If you go back over the last three seasons, Greensburg-Salem has not gotten out of the first round of the playoffs. The Golden Lions lost last year in the first round to Central Valley, two years ago to Hampton, and three years ago to Montour. So even though they had success four seasons ago, Steve, they've gotten to the playoffs the last three years, just haven't gotten a playoff win. Yeah, they just, uh, you know, it's tough. It's tough to win in the playoffs, you know. Was, uh, uh, and we found that out over the years, Brian. And we've had some good teams here at Uniontown since, you know, in the last few years. And uh, they've had some success. But it's, uh, you know, playoff victories are not easy. Everybody that makes the playoffs is pretty good. And uh, sometimes you go against different sections that play maybe a little different brand of ball, a little tougher ball. And, uh, you know, you don't have the success. But, uh, you know, uh, the first thing's first. Uh, you have to get there. And they have to get through the section. And not only, especially for Uniontown, Brian, they're at a point now where, you know, just uh, getting to the playoffs is not the goal. They want to do get to the playoffs and do well, and they want to be a top seed. And if they get, you know, to, to, to be a top seed, they're going to have to win games like this, uh, you know, against teams like Greensburg Salem. They're going to have to go through the section with maybe one, two losses or even undefeated if they want to be a top seed. And that that's a big deal because then they get to play a 15, 16 seed, and they got a chance to win a couple games. Uniontown certainly has gotten respect from the WPIL and folks around the area and in the media so far this season. The Red Raiders ranked number four this week in the MSA Sports AAA top ten polls. Union Town definitely one of the top teams around western Pennsylvania this season. We'll be back with the opening tip-off. Union Town hosting Greensburg-Salem here on 590 WMBS and on Fayette County Television. Welcome back to Union Town High School here on 590 WMBS and Fayette County Television. Brian Morozak along with Steve Superick. The team's starting lineup is being introduced to the crowd here at Union Town High School. Of course, Steve, this is a makeup game for both Greensburg, Salem, and Union Town. This game was scheduled to be played right before Christmas, but snow postponing the game until here in early January. Right, that uh, you know, when it comes to a Saturday till, of course, the weather's a little nicer today, so both teams able to, you know, uh, get here safely. And uh, you know, Greensburg's coming down, and they played last night, right? Did they play last night against uh, AG? So that's the, the or, or no, that was Latrobe. They actually played against South Moreland last South night. South Moreland, okay. And Union Town, of course, two days of preparation for Greensburg-Salem, so obviously that favors the Red Raiders, even though Greensburg-Salem very strong last night against South Marlin, defeating the Scotties 81-43. to Yeah, it's, uh, that gives uh, Coach Kosmarski a chance to scout, get some more film, and see what they're doing. And uh, you know, He noticed, uh, I guess, one of their players, Nick Holzer, a big guy in the 6'1", uh, senior, who he only have just uh, two points a game, but he plays a lot. He's a football player. He's on a football visit today, so he's not going to be here for Greensburg Salem, so that'll be a see if that factors in with their uh, you know their strength down low. Union Town moving right to left on either your radio dial or across your television sets here in the opening quarter of the game. The Red Raiders in their home whites trimmed in maroon with maroon numbers. Greensburg Salem and their away brown uniforms with yellow numbers trimmed in white. Our referees here tonight. Our head referee is Joe Garaki and he's assisted by Nick Murray and Jim Mora. And we'll get the section three contest underway. Both Uniontown and Greensburg Salem undefeated in section. Play is Patrick Boyer. Steps into the center circle to jump against the Red Raiders. Jeremy Perkins wow. and the Golden Lions get started in a hurry. They'll feed it down to Denzel Jackson for the quick two. Just like that. <laughs> and nice little play off the inbounds, off the tip. Now the Red Raiders work it back on the other side. Down low to Perkins. A miss. The basketball out of bounds and over to Greensburg Salem. So a great start for the Golden Lions and their head coach Craig Menkins, an early bucket after the one. It's hit from Denzel Jackson, and now the Golden Lions get the basketball yeah. back. Violation, Brown. They threw it to Nowicki, who tried to throw it back to to uh, Ponzurik, who was not quite in bounds yet. He was still underneath the basket, didn't quite get established in play. So a turnover. The Red Raiders trigger it in here in the Greensburg Salem zone. They'll feed it near corner. Pratt for three on the way, no good off the back iron, and the Golden Lions Stevens with the rebound. 
As Greensburg Salem now settles things down, Jackson across, goes cross court far side in the far corner. No Wiki launches the three off the glass, no good. And Ellis with the rebound for Uniontown. Numbers favoring the Red Raiders. Ellis off to Winfrey, left block, ducks, goes back up. Shot on the way, no good. Perkins, the offensive rebound, and found from behind by Max Ponzoric. <laughs> Brown, that you don't see every day is uh, Bertie Winfrey flew over the top of the shooter and uh, just. Uh, or actually the Greensburg Salem player flew, flew over the top of Winfrey who missed the shot. As Perkins goes to the foul line and knocks down the first free throw looked, for the Uniontown Red Raiders. Looked like a game of leapfrog there, Brian. And the play ends up with the Red Raiders getting fouled down low and Perkins at the line. He made his first, now a second free throw attempt up on the way but short out the front of the rim and a scrum for the rebound and it's picked up by the Golden Lions, Simeone Stevens. Up here on the near side said Jackson who throws it away into the hands of Xavier Ellis. Ellis coming back, trying to pour in the lane to Pratt. Intercepted there by Max Ponzork, who then throws it to Christian Kesmarski In the lane again to Perkins, who gets fouled from behind by Boyer. So a lot of action here early on. Uniontown trailing 2-1 to one here at the 7-0-1 mark of the opening quarter. Jeremy Perkins going to the foul line for the Red Raiders again. First foul on Boyer, second team foul. And one thing you can notice right away, Brian, is Greensburg-Salem does not seem to be intimidated yet uh, so far. And they are very big, physical, and a little faster maybe than Uniontown was ready for. This is kind of a, this game has a little more intensity than anything we've seen since maybe the Obama Academy game. Perkins missed the first, makes the second. And this game now tied at two as the Red Raiders get into their press there on the far side. Ponzork back to Nowicki, bounce pass to Ponzork again, but Greensburg-Salem still not across. They need to hurry here to avoid the 10-second call. Finally across to Jackson, kicks it far side. Three ball on the way, Stevens off the front of the rim, no good. A scrum for the rebound, kept alive on the offensive glass by the Golden Lions. Fed down low to Boyer, shot high off the glass, no good. Another offensive rebound on the far side and a foul called against the Red Raiders. And a great job there by Simeone Stevens picking up the rebound and and drawing the foul on the left block for Greensburg-Salem. A foul went on Perkins, his first. Team first against Uniontown, sending Stevens, who was 4 for 4 this season from the free throw line, entering the weekend. His first attempt here, up on the way, and no good. So Stevens misses his first free throw attempt this season, averages 8.8 .8 points a game. Game knotted up at 2. Here in the opening 90 seconds, from Uniontown High School. Stevens' second free throw rattles out and Pratt the rebound for Uniontown. Leaves off for Christian Kesmarski and up again to Pratt. Head fake on the three and he's going to be calling for a walk. And Uniontown has yet to get in any kind of offensive flow, Brian. It's been a helter-skelter first couple minutes and uh, still 6.32 left, but they haven't really been able to set up any kind of offense. It's just been a lot of... Uh, Chaos, if you will. Jackson brings it across to Ponzork. Touch pass back to Stevens. Stevens takes it inside. Dumps down right block. Boyer blocked away. And the Red Raiders, Pratt picks it up. Up the floor to Crit in the Greensburg-Salem zone. High on the right. Back to Pratt near side now. Ellis. Ellis takes it inside. And a foul called here on the floor against the Golden Lions. That should be on Nowicki, I'm guessing. He was one reaching in there. Yes, he was. That's his second, Brian. And team third here in the first half. And good job on the defensive end, Brian. Much bigger team, but Booty Ellis, a couple blocks from the backside, just getting skying up in the air and getting those big guys, blocking it from behind. Doing a good job to avoid the foul call. Antonio Ferrari checking into the game, replacing Nowicki as Pratt has it up top now for the Red Raiders in the Greensburg-Salem zone. Over to Crit on the near wing. Back to Pratt between the circles. Inside look, Ellis. Jumper from just inside the foul line off the mark. And Ponzork will pull down the rebound here for Greensburg-Salem. That's a tough shot. Those, see, those are going to be tough shots in the lane for those guys from Uniontown because they're much bigger. Greensburg-Salem uh, have 6'4", six, 6'5", six, guys in the paint. Ponzork right to the lane. Kicked up top to Stevens. Touch pass over to Ferrari. Launches the three up the back iron, no good. Pratt the rebound for Uniontown. Pratt quickly back across for the Red Raiders looking to run. Takes it inside and draws the foul. Wow. Jordan Pratt going to the free throw line to shoot two. The Golden Lions unhappy with the call. They wanted to charge. Well, the official on the near side, Brian, on our side, was calling the charge and the other official called the block. So, and I guess the one that was closer to the play gets the call. And that charge goes, that foul goes on Stevens, his first. 
team fourth. Pratt to shoot two. First of two up on the way and no good. A, mer a rare miss this season at the free throw line for Jordan Pratt, who comes into this game 67 of 86 from the free throw line. 78%. Pratt averaging 17.6 points a game. Second free throw on the way and good for Jordan Pratt. His first point tonight. Pratt scored a season high 26 last week against Albert Gallatin. Now the Red Raiders into their press, leading 3-2 to two Ferrari. Back to Ponzorg, up to Jackson, and now Stevens. Stevens pass on the far side, brought down by Ferrari on the left wing. Now inside, jumper on the way, no good there. Jackson, and now a scrum for the rebound down low, picked up by Ponzorg. Touch pass back to Ferrari. Dances out and tries to reset here for the Golden Lions. Off to Denzel Jackson. Jackson on the right wing to Stevens. Stevens now comes inside and is fouled. The Red Raiders pick up their second team foul here in the first half. And it will go against Bertie Winfrey. Yeah, that was uh, the Uniontown kind of bailed out. Stevens there. He's going a little out of control, Brian. Not much happened on that possession. And, well, there's a nice pass inside low. All right off the inbounds pass. A quick bucket for Patrick Boyer, the leading scorer for the Golden Lions. Putting Greensburg-Salem now on top 4-3 to three over Uniontown. Here at the 4.55 mark of the opening quarter. Red Raiders quickly back in the Greensburg-Salem zone. Ellis over to Winfrey. Drives in left of the lane and scores. Bertie Winfrey, his first two points of the game. Putting Uniontown back on top 5-4. to four. Here at the 4.42 mark of the first. Through center, Boyer. Driving up to Stevens. Touch pass back to Ferrari. Jumper from just inside the foul line. No good. Scrum for the rebound. Picked up there by Bertie Winfrey. Off to Ellis and across to Crit on the left wing in the Greensburg-Salem zone. Crit now rotates up top. Nice bounce pass down low to Jordan Pratt who draws the foul. It'll go on Stevens, his second personal. So a couple of Golden Lions players here, Steve, getting in some early foul trouble. Stevens with two and no Wiki with two. And... Surprise, surprise, Jordan Pratt back at the foul line. Pratt again coming into this game with 86 free throw attempts so far this season. Now two of three from the foul line here tonight as he knocks down his first. And Joey Campbell checks in for Perkins. Perkins did a good job when he was in there. And he's. Uh, it's going to be a good, uh, tough game for Perkins and Campbell against the big guys from uh, against uh, Boyer and Ponzoric. Pratt knocks down the second free throw. It's now Uniontown 7, Greensburg-Salem 4. Caleb Key checked into the game to replace Simeon Stevens for Greensburg-Salem with Stevens in early foul trouble. Here's Denzel Jackson driving inside a shot partially blocked into the hands of Uniontown's Joe Campbell. And the Red Raiders quickly back across. Christian Kesmarski, a little head fake there, stays with it, working on Ferrari. Off to his right to Winfrey. Nice pass down low again to Jordan Pratt, who's fouled this time by Max Ponzoric. And again, Pratt going to the basket. He gets himself, he kind of planted himself down there in the left block. And, and uh, good job by Ellis to get the ball in there. This is the way the Red Raiders have played all season long, working it down low to Pratt. And Pratt's done a terrific job, again, getting to the free throw line as he knocks down his first. He now has four first quarter points. And we have a timeout after the first made free throw from Pratt. We'll take a quick timeout as well. 4 2 left here in the first. 8-4, to four, Union Town over Greensburg-Salem. Back in 30 seconds at Autoland Suzuki High School Sports Night on WMBS and Fayette County TV. All right. Brian Morozak and Steve Superk back here at Union Town High School on 590 WMBS, Fayette County Television, and on the MSA Sports Network. Jordan Pratt at the free throw line for the Union Town Red Raiders. Second free throw up on the way and good for Jordan Pratt. Is now 5 of 6 through 4 minutes of this game from the free throw line, and the Red Raiders lead up to 5 right now, Steve, at 9 to 4. As again, Union Town in their press, giving the Golden Lions fits, but they do bring it across on the far side of Denzel Jackson. Jackson up to key. Over on the right side, jumper on the way, Ponzoric, no good. Crick comes out of the mix with the basketball for the Red Raiders. Had man pass up to Jordan Pratt, almost a bit too far. It is too far as Pratt tried to save the basketball baseline, but threw it off the back of the glass and out of bounds and back over to Greensburg-Salem. Brian, Greensburg-Salem playing a pretty good game so far. They're just not able to hit any shots. They're just, you know, they're getting good looks, but they can't shoot. To bring it across to Ponzork. Red Raiders wanted to walk. They didn't get it. Ponzork drives inside a miss, but Boyer's there to clean it up right block. Patrick Boyer has four of the Golden Lions, six so far in this game. And Union Sound nine, Greensburg-Salem six, with 322 left here in the first. And the only shots they've made, Brian, have been layups, like right next to the basket. None of their outside jumpers have gone. Pratt drives but misses. Loose ball rebound picked up by Greensburg-Salem's Boyer. And Boyer now slows things down for the Golden Lions. Back to Ferrari. 
Antonio Ferrari brings it across here for Greensburg-Salem. Between the circles in the Uniontown zone. Off on his right to Caleb Key, the sophomore. Nice touch pass inside. Floater on the way. Denzel Jackson, no good. Rebound going to Uniontown's Joey Campbell. Off to Crit on the far side. Crit drives inside. Floater off the side of the glass, no good. Key pulls down the rebound for Greensburg-Salem. Off to Ferrari who brings it across. Ferrari head fake inside. and move that pivot foot. He's going to be calling for a walk as the Red Raiders will get the basketball back here at the 243 mark of the opening quarter, leading 9-6. to six. It'll be Birdie Winfrey to trigger in the basketball here for the Red Raiders. Greensburg-Salem backing off their press defensively. And Crit will bring it across. Bounce pass inside. Jordan Brack out a little bit too deep. Shovels it back to Joe Campbell. Pivot spins and scores. Joey Campbell is first bucket of the night. Putting the Red Raiders back on top by five at 11 to six. Golden Lines Ferrari here on the near side. Bounce pass back to Ponzork. Ponzork across here for Greensburg Salem. Out again to Ferrari near wing. Pivots double team. Works out of it again to Ponzork. Comes inside. Hop step. Off the glass but called for a walk. The basket was good. But he'll get waved off for the traveling violation. And Coach Mangus didn't like that call. Looked like a hop step that we see pretty much in every NBA game. A lot of college games, but not going to happen here. Here's Crit driving inside for Uniontown. Has a seam, takes it inside. Shot blocked away. Knocked out of bounds off of Greensburg-Salem. We'll stay here with the Red Raiders. Crit wanted the foul call. Did not get it. But he will trigger in the basketball here at the 205 mark of the first with Union Town up by five. Into Campbell. And now Crit again. He's going to launch the three from the near corner, but too strong. Backside rebound pulled down by Denzel Jackson. Good job by Joey Campbell to battle for it, but the Golden Lions win it up to Key. Try to feed it to Boyer. Deflected back to Ponzork, who's going to be calling for another walk. So Max Ponzor calling for his second straight traveling violation in back-to-back -back possessions. And Union Town get the basketball back again up 11-6 to six here at the 149 mark of the opening quarter. Close calls on both of them, Brian. I think you're playing a pickup game. You let him go with those, but the official out there with a whistle calls it. Far side, foul whistled here on the Golden Lions. That's going to go on Max Ponzor. Steve, that'll be his second personal. So now you have Ponzork with two, Nowicki with two, and Stevens with two for Greensburg-Salem. Sending Uniontown's Joe Campbell to the free throw line to shoot the one and one here at the 144 mark of the opening quarter. So seven fouls for Greensburg-Salem in the first six minutes of this game. As Campbell knocks down his first free throw attempt, coming into this game, he was 10 of 18 for the season from the foul line. And just two fouls for Uniontown, so Coach Kizmarski can't, does not have much to complain about right now. And now Nowicki checks back into the game for Greensburg-Salem, replacing Ponzork as Campbell gets ready to attempt his second free throw. It's on the way in good again for Joey Campbell. Campbell with four first quarter points. The sophomores played tremendously well so far this season for the Union Town Red Raiders, who now have a 13-6 lead over Greensburg-Salem. Here's the 138 mark of the first. Another and travel. a traveling violation in the backcourt against the Golden Lions. Patrick Boyer as Union Town's press has given the Golden Lions fits here in the opening frame. Yeah, Brian, they're just, uh, they don't look comfortable handling the basketball out there in the middle of the traffic. Here's Pratt, a baseline drive. Count the basket and the foul. Jordan Pratt has gotten off to a hot start with seven first quarter points. Can make it eight here at the free throw line. And that's on Caleb Key. That'll be his first team eighth here in the first half. The fouls right now, eight for Greensburg-Salem, only two for Uniontown. Pratt's free throw is good as he converts the three-point play. Jordan Pratt now 6 of 7 from the foul line here in the opening quarter. And the Red Raiders have opened up a double-figure lead over Greensburg-Salem at 16 to 6. Again, the Golden Line struggling with a press. Winfrey uh, near steal here on the near side, unable to keep the basketball inbounds as he goes out of bounds right in front of us. It will stay here with the Golden Lions as Caleb Key to trigger it in. 123 left here in the first. Union Town 16, Greensburg Salem 6. As Key sends it into Denzel Jackson. Jackson drives inside, gives off to Boyer, who's there to finish the play. Left block. Boyer with six of Greensburg Salem's eight points so far tonight. And Union Town 16, the Golden Lions 8. Here's Ellis coming inside, kicks it out to Campbell. Campbell holds right wing in the corner now to Pratt. Pratt is going to shoot the three. It was partially blocked into the hands of Nowicki for Greensburg Salem. Nowicki across. Guarded here by Pratt. Works right of the lane. Kicks back out to Jackson. Jackson jumper from the foul line on the way. No good. And Winfrey skies for the rebound. Up to Crit as the Red Raiders look to run. Crit off to his left to Joe Campbell. Takes it inside and draws the contact. 
The Red Raiders did a good job there, Steve, just getting a shot away as the numbers really favored Greensburg Salem on the Uniontown rush into the Golden Lion zone. And uh, good job of Uniontown just running the floor, and, and Campbell gets down there. And amazingly, Brian, all the fouls against uh, Greensburg Salem, no one has three yet. They all, you know, most of the players have two fouls. Stevens, Boyer, Nowicki, and Ponzorek, all with two fouls. The latest foul was on Boyer. Now nine team fouls against the Golden Lions here in the opening quarter. Boyer's going to check back out now, and Ponzork will come in. So Max Ponzork now on the floor with two personal fouls, along with Sam Nowicki, who also has two. And those players have to be extremely careful at this point of the game as Campbell knocks down another free throw. Campbell, six first quarter points. He's 4-4 four, four from the free throw line. It's again a 10-point Union Sound lead, 18-8 to eight over Greensburg-Salem with 37 seconds left here in the first. Far side, Golden Lions trying to feed Nowicki, intercepted as Ellis picks it up for the Red Raiders. Ellis drives inside, hands off to Pratt, but Ellis called for the walk before he released the basketball. Coach K wanted another foul there, and, and he might have had a beef there. That time there was some contact with no call. Golden Lions work it in here to Nowicki in the backcourt. Across to Ponzorek. Ponzorek right of the lane, trying to back in here on Campbell, and Winfrey kicks it out now to Nowicki. Launches the three from the top of the key, no good, and a violation down low. We actually get a foul here, Steve, or is that yeah, three second call? I think we're going to get a foul. Looks like Nowicki, I think, pushing off, trying to get a rebound. Yeah, that's his third, man. Or no, Ponzorek, sorry. It will be Max Ponzorek's third personal foul. And Uniontown should shoot two here. Ponzork did not have possession of the basketball, so it would not be a player control foul. So Uniontown in the double bonus here in the first half with 19 seconds left in the first frame. Joe Campbell back to the free throw line. And Uniontown has really made a living, Steve, at the foul line here in the first quarter of this game. Pratt, seven free throw attempts. Perkins with four. Campbell with four. This will be his fifth, and he makes it. Campbell now 5 of 5 from the free throw line here in the opening frame. Boyer back into the game for Greensburg-Salem. As Ponzork has to take a seat with three personal fouls here in the opening quarter. The Union Town lead now up to 11. Campbell's second free throw attempt short off the front of the rim. Skying for the rebound is Caleb Key for Greensburg-Salem. But the Red Raiders come over and force a jump ball. Force a jump ball, and uh, that was... Booty Ellis who came in there or actually ripped it out of his hands almost if the play goes a little longer he gets the ball but we get it on the possession arrow anyway. Over to Crit here on the near wing. Union Town the basketball leading by 11 down to 8 seconds left in the quarter. Crit near corner the basketball out of bounds and over to Greensburg Salem so the Golden Lions will get the last crack at things here in the opening frame trailing by 11. Inbounds pass into Denzel Jackson. Jackson up to Nowicki. Nowicki in the corner to Stevens for three on the way, but off the front of the rim and no good. So after one, it's Uniontown 19, Greensburg Salem 8. Back in 60 seconds here on 590 WMBS and Fayette County TV. Back here at Uniontown High School, Greensburg Salem with the basketball starting the second quarter, but the Golden Lions trail Uniontown by 11. Here's Denzel Jackson up top, try to feed it inside, deflected out of bounds off of Greensburg Salem. Another turnover. And over to Uniontown. That's nine turnovers now for Greensburg Salem, just four for Uniontown. Greensburg has out rebounded them 13 to 8, but uh, Fouls a big factor too, Brian. Ten fouls to just two for Uniontown. There's Winfrey coming inside. Lost the handle left block. Good defense there from Patrick Boyer. Deflects it out of bounds over to Greensburg-Salem. 7.36 left before halftime. Uniontown an 11-point lead. The Golden Lions with the basketball. Here's Stevens. Up to Key on the left wing in Uniontown zone. Back up top again as Stevens launches the three off the mark. And over to Uniontown. And Greensburg-Salem just having a rough time shooting the basketball, Brian. If they actually could hit some shots, they'd get back in this game. But uh, Here's yeah. Patrick Boyer intercepting an error. Uniontown pass up to Caleb Key. Floater right of the lane, no good. Offensive rebound, Stevens put back, no good. Boyer finds a third attempt on the possession. Good for Patrick Boyer. And Boyer, Steve, has eight of Greensburg-Salem's ten points so far in this game. But the Golden Lions still trail by nine at 19 to 10. Ellis up top over to Pratt. Jordan Pratt now look inside. Hands off here to Birdie Winfrey. Birdie dances between the circles trying to work here on Denzel Jackson. Birdie working left of the lane and stripped. 
Picked off there by Jackson. Numbers favor the Golden Lions. Jackson scoop shot no good and deflected out of there by the Red Raiders. And transition Winfrey. Winfrey drives inside and is called for a charge. Good job. Oh, and he may be hurt, Brian. Is, uh, is that Jackson that went down? Yeah. One of the Golden Lions down there. It's either Jackson or Stevens. Actually, Steve, I think it's Simeon Stevens, yeah, number Stevens. two. Yeah, number two. He just, uh, he did a good job as uh, Winfrey was flying down the court, Brian, trying to get a layup, and he did a good job of standing in there, taking a charge. That injury time out brought to you by our friends at the Centers for Rehab Services, the leaders in physical therapy. If you happen to get banged up, give Jim Burns a call at 724-437-7500. The Centers for Rehab Services relief is closer than you think. Here's Key across for Greensburg Salem over to Jackson. Bounce pass right of the lane, and that's Boyer tied up, and we'll get a jump ball called here. Possession arrow Union tap. With 6.18 left before halftime, Uniontown 19, Greensburg-Salem 10, only two points scored here in the second quarter. Those courtesy of Greensburg-Salem's Patrick Boyer. As the Red Raiders work it into Christian Kesmarski. Crit will bring it across here on the far side. Crit works inside, floater in the lane, short off the front of the rim. Boyer pulls down the rebound for Greensburg-Salem. Off to Denzel Jackson. Jackson right of the lane. Up top again to Ferrari. Ferrari now coming inside. Might have got away with a walk. They're not called. Baseline jumper no good. The rebound to Union Town's DeAndre Winfrey. DeAndre bringing it across over to Jordan Pratt. And again, just a horrific shooting by Greensburg Salem Brian. And just can't make anything. Ellis takes it inside. Floater no good. Boyer the rebound for the Golden Lions. Off to Jackson and across to Stevens. Stevens in the lane. Floater on the way no good. Ellis picks up the rebound. Nice save there for Union Town. Up to DeAndre Winfrey and now Crit. Crit back across. Drives inside and scores. Christian Kesmarski. His first points of the game. And the Red Raiders back on top. 21 to 10 by 11. The Red Raiders lead it here as we approach the midway point of this second quarter. Here's No Wiki, a head fake from the outside. Passes off to the right. Jackson's going to shoot the three, and he's fouled outside uh, by Xavier Ellis. Ellis didn't like the call. I think he thought maybe that uh, Jackson took a little bit of a dive there, a little bit of a flop. Well, you, Steve, is a former punter, very familiar with that. Yeah, and that uh, wasn't a lot of contact there. <laughs> yeah. Sure, you've gotten some penalties called. Yeah. When you were playing back at West Virginia by a similar move as Jackson knocks down the first free throw attempt. He now has three points in this game. Make it four as he knocks down the second. Of course, he's going to get three here due to the fact that he was shooting a three when he was fouled. So those two makes have Greensburg Salem back to within nine of Uniontown at 21 to 12 here at the 5.06 mark of the second quarter. Now the third free throw attempt from Jackson. This one no good as Pratt pulls down the rebound for Uniontown. Jordan Pratt again trying to take it inside. They're not, they're not going to count the basket here, but Pratt will still shoot two due to the fact that the Red Raiders are in the double bonus. And it's uncanny how uh, Greensburg Salem just spreading those fouls around. That's Denzel Jackson. That's just his first. All the fouls out there, and they got guys with two, two, one, and three. As Pratt knocks down another free throw. Nine points now for Pratt. Seven of eight from the foul line in this game. Now a second. Good again for Jordan Pratt. So Pratt in double figures with 10. The Red Raiders lead back up to 11 at 23 to 12. As Nowicki brings it across, trapped, and turns it over to DeAndre Winfrey. Up to Pratt again. Hands off to Ellis. Drives inside. Misses Perkins. Though they're right place, right time to clean it up. Jeremy Perkins, his first field goal of the game, giving Union Town a 25 to 12 lead here at the 444 mark of the second quarter. Timeout on the floor. We'll take a timeout as well. Back in 30 seconds. An auto and Suzuki High School Sports Night on WMBS and on Fayette County TV. Okay, you're clear. All right. Are you guys clear from TV at halftime? Yes. yes. Okay, I'll, I'll tell you then. Ten seconds. Okay. Three, two, and one. 
And back here at Union Town High School, 25 to 12, the Red Raiders leading the Greensburg Salem Golden Lions. Union Town entering this game with an 8 and 1 overall record, a 2 and 0 conference record. And Greensburg Salem, Steve, undefeated in conference play, but they do not have a non-conference win on the season. They're 0 and 6 in non-conference games. Well, Brian, they're just struggling. They're young, and they're, they're now they're starting to create a few, uh, uh, commit a few turnovers. But they're just not shooting the ball very well, Brian. They're getting shots. And there's another turnover again. Forced by DeAndre Winfrey over to Crit. Back to DeAndre. Head fake. Try to hand off a walk with a basketball. DeAndre, uh, Brian, he's a pretty, pretty heady player, but he needs to shoot that basketball. He was right underneath the hoop, and he tried to make the, that one extra pass. Sometimes you get too many, and... The man that he was going to throw to wasn't ready for it. He got called for the travel. The Red Raiders though in a very comfortable position right now, leading by 13, and they force another turnover. This time it's Birdie Winfrey, picks up the steal, takes it inside and scores. He now has four points in this game, and the Red Raiders have a 15-point lead over Greensburg-Salem at 27-12. So the Red Raiders following up a very solid win against Ringgold on Wednesday with another great performance so far here today. Ponzork takes it inside and scores for the Golden Alliance. So Finally, Steve with Ponzork. Zork, who has three personal fouls, still playing out there in the first half, picking up his first points of the game. That's the first shot they made from outside of a couple feet. And now Perkins takes it inside for Union Sound. That's the third foul on Winfrey, Brian, and Coach K's got to be careful. I actually, I think that's going to get called here on uh, Perkins. Perkins, wow. Perkins called for the charge inside. He actually did initiate the contact. So Perkins now will take a seat on the Uniontown bench with two personal fouls and Joey Campbell back in the lineup for the Red Raiders. It's now five team fouls for Uniontown here in the first half. The Golden Lions Jackson with it on the far side. Again, Greensburg Salem struggling to bring it across. Finally up to Ferrari and then Ponzork lost it to Winfrey. Across to Kritz. Kritz going to launch the three from the left wing and knock it down again. Christian Keslarski now with five second quarter points. He came into this game leading Uniontown with 25 May threes on the season. That's make number 26 from outside the arc. And Greensburg Salem called for a double dribble coming back. The Indian Town lead at 16 at 30 to 14 over Greensburg Salem. Here's the 318 mark of the second quarter. Three, three. Indian Town by the press just giving him fits. Crit works it into Campbell. Back to Crit. Sends it high up top to Jordan Pratt on the far side. On the foul line to Campbell, out again to Pratt. Pratt now backs off a little bit high on the right. 3.07 left before halftime as Pratt dances between the circles. Guarded by Ferrari, off to Ellis, back to Pratt again up top. Pratt a little head fake, stays with it. Over to Ellis. Union Town can afford to take some time off the clock right now with a 16-point lead as we go under three minutes left here in the second quarter. Campbell far side. Head fake. Now takes it inside to Pratt. Pratt's first shot attempt. Block gets it back. Puts it back up. Another miss. Campbell, though, there to clean things up. And Joey Campbell having a nice night, Steve, with nine first half points. The Red Raiders lead up to 32-14. to 14. Greensburg Salem brings it back across. Count the basket and the foul, Denzel Jackson. Yeah, nice uh, hop step move there, and that could be on Campbell. It's either going to be Campbell or Pratt. It was Campbell. It's just his first foul. Team sixth. Jackson now an opportunity to cap off the three-point play with a made free throw. It's no good. Rebound deflected around and picked up by Jackson. Puts it back up. No good at the back of the rim. And Campbell pulls down the rebound for Union Town. Off the crit into the Greensburg-Salem zone. Over to Ellis. Launches the three off the back iron. No good. Ponzorg the rebound for Greensburg-Salem. Up to Stevens. Stevens drives inside and scores. Simeon Stevens. His first two points of the game for Greensburg-Salem. It's Union Town 32. Greensburg-Salem 18. 2.08 left before halftime. Crit. High pass over to Winfrey. Near side to Ellis. Ellis yet to score in this game. And now Campbell's going to launch the three. This one a bit too strong off the back of the rim. Rebound pulled down by Ponzorg for Greensburg-Salem. Across to Jackson. Jackson up top in the Union Town zone. Guarded here by Ellis. Lost the dribble. A look inside to Boyer. Has it right block and foul down low. The foul likely going here on Joey Campbell. It's again either on Campbell or Pratt. They were both in the vicinity. That's they're going on Pratt. Pratt. Yeah, they're going to go on Pratt. And not a big problem for either one. Brian, just the first foul on Pratt. That's a big benefit for having Perkins and Campbell uh, to take over that kind of a uh, center slash forward position for the Red Raiders, Brian. You got uh, two guys for, you got basically 10 fouls to play with. 
You can spread them around. So far, three called on that position. Two against Perkins, one against Campbell. As Boyer misses his first free throw attempt. He struggled so far in the season at the foul line. 18 of 32 entering the game for 56% for the season. And now Key back into the lineup, replacing Ponzoric for Greensburg-Salem. That turns into be a pretty good foul for Pratt to stop an easy layup and force Boyer to earn it at the line. Boyer's second free throw attempt is good as he rattles it home. Boyer with nine first half points for Greensburg-Salem, nine of the Golden Lions, 19. But Uniontown still possessing a 13-point lead and the basketball as we go under 90 seconds left here in the first half. Britta head fake, stays with it. Pass off to his left to Jordan Pratt. Pratt in the corner now to Bertie Winfrey. Winfrey takes it inside, lost the handle. Saved, though, by Pratt, who backs outside the arc now. Sends it hard inside to Campbell, who finishes the play right block. Joey Campbell, four here in the second, 11 for the game. And the Red Raiders back on top by 15 at 34-19. to 19. Well, Brian, that's a great job by Campbell. We had a good view of that. Campbell was sneaking in there the whole time. And Pratt saw him a couple times and finally got him the ball. Key over to Boyer, drives the lane and scores. Patrick Boyer now in double figures with 11 for Greensburg-Salem. Golden lines back to within 13 of Union. Town. Here's Pratt on the near side in the corner to Winfrey back to Pratt. Thought about coming inside. Kicks it far corner now to Christian Kazmarski. Crit long two on the way from the right wing. It's good. Christian Kazmarski having a nice second quarter with seven points all here in the second. And the Red Raiders back on top by 15 at 36 to 21. Golden Lions quickly up the floor and finishing the play is Stevens left block. Stevens now with four second quarter points end to end action now at Union Town High School. Crit, no look pass down low. Winfrey fouled by Key. Caleb Key, second personal. Winfrey to shoot two here for Uniontown. Winfrey solid free throw numbers this season for the Red Raiders. 16 of 22. Averages 10.3 points a game. First of two here, though, no good. 26 seconds left before halftime. We'll get a quick... Davis and Davis halftime coaching interview with Union Sound assistant Harry Kaufman. Second free throw again, no good from Winfrey. And an offensive rebound picked up by Campbell. Kept alive to Crit. Left wing, three on the way, short. Campbell going for the rebound. It's deflected out of bounds. Last touch by Campbell. And over to Greensburg Salem. So the Golden Lions win bound the basketball with 15 seconds left here in the first half. Jackson to bring it across. Denzel Jackson up top. Clock down to eight. Off to his left to Key. Back to Jackson. Clock now to four as Jackson takes it inside and is found from behind by Bertie Winfrey. That'll be his third, Steve. Third, his third personal foul on Bertie Winfrey. Got him from behind, Brian, and that's, uh, that is the third. Actually, yeah, they posted it on Campbell. Yeah, that's a couple times today that... that uh, They've had some curious foul calls, Brian, on different... I mean, it looked like a foul, but they, they picked the wrong player. Jackson and knocks down his first free throw attempt. Of course, Coach K's not going to complain about that. No, because it spreads the fouls around, obviously. But I thought Birdie got him from behind rather hard, unless Jackson committed some kind of a foul that I did not... Or check that, Campbell. unless Campbell committed some kind of a foul I did not see out there. Second free throw attempt, no good from Jackson. Campbell, the rebound for Uniontown. Up to Pratt from midcourt at the buzzer. Good look, but no good off the back of the rim. So at halftime, your score, Uniontown 36 and Greensburg-Salem 24. We'll get a quick Davis and Davis halftime coaching interview with Uniontown assistant Harry Kaufman. Harry now putting on the headphones in front of us. And Harry, your thoughts on the first half? Well, Saturday uh, afternoon game. I think we got to get the rust out a little bit. Um, kind of a sloppy basketball game right now, but we're hustling underneath. Um, offensively, got to get some more movement around the ball. Um, you know, they're, they're struggling to score a little bit right now, but we know second half they're going to come out and find a way too, so we're going to have to stop them. Coach, your press is giving them fits, but they're, mm -hmm. they're, they're laboring to get the ball across half court. you got a few turnovers, but they're just not shooting the ball. Mm -hmm. And that, that has to concern you a little bit because they're getting shots, but they're just not putting them down. And if they start making 
making shots, they could get back in the game. But you guys got to give your guys credit, you know, for all doing some of those shots. Yeah, that's what Coach Gladman just said. We were talking about the fact that they haven't made that many shots. But second half, they could easily make a lot more. So we're going to have to find a way to get on them, stay on them. I mean, you need Tom Greensburg, stay on them, 36-24. We're happy with the lead. we got to try to extend it more. Coach, appreciate your time. We'll talk to you after the game. Thanks, guys. Fayette TV thanks Campbell Heating and Air Conditioning for their support of community television and Red Raider basketball. Campbell Heating and Air Conditioning, serving the Fayette, Green, and Washington area for four generations. Your heating and air conditioning experts, servicing all brands including Lennox and Carrier. Call Campbell Heating and Air Conditioning today at 724-438-8149. The experienced team of home builders at Century Construction supports your Red Raider basketball team at Uniontown Area High School. Century Construction has been a member of the community since 1974. They are a small company by choice with a focus on customer satisfaction. They've built hundreds of homes within a 60 mile radius of Uniontown and perform commercial custom work too. Learn more about saving money with the Owner Builder Program when you visit their website at centuryconstruction-pa.com. Your full-service construction and development corporation, Century Construction, is proud to help bring you today's broadcast of Red Raider Basketball. Call them at 724-437-2752. Attorney Joseph M. George is a proud supporter of Uniontown Red Raider basketball. Attorney Joseph M. George is grateful for the opportunity to serve our community and wishes all of our local teams and coaches the best of luck this season and in all of their future endeavors. None of us are immune from losing a loved one and for many it's the most difficult thing we go through. The Stephen E. Kazmarski III Funeral Home helps you in your time of grief by providing compassionate, personalized care. Funeral Director Stephen E. Kazmarski and his attentive staff will handle the fine details of the funeral process, allowing you to focus on saying goodbye to your loved one and healing your grieving heart. Celebrate everything your family member meant to you by giving them a farewell that's worthy of a life well lived. The Stephen E. Kazmarski Funeral Home is a comforting, peaceful environment where families can gather and support each other, where you and your loved ones will be treated with the respect and dignity that you deserve. Stop in and discover the reason why so many Fayette County families entrust the Stephen E. Kazmarski III Funeral Home with the care of their loved one. When water, smoke, or fire damage your home, it can be devastating. When every minute counts, call PuroClean, the paramedics of property damage. We're there for you when you need us the most, responding quickly with compassion, doing whatever it takes to give you back your home and sense of security. That's why we're trusted by insurance professionals and property owners nationwide. PuroClean, the paramedics of property damage. Uniontown Area School Board member Lloyd Williams is happy to give our student-athletes their chance in the spotlight through a partnership with Fayette TV. Lloyd Williams joins you in cheering for the Uniontown Red Raiders and wishes all players success in their academic and athletic pursuits. From Lloyd Williams and his family to our student-athletes, play hard, be safe, and have fun. Stay tuned. Immediately following the high school game today, we'll be joining game one of a wild card divisional doubleheader playoff here on WMBS. First, we will join the Cincinnati Bengals at the Houston Texans, already in progress. And then later tonight at 8 o'clock, immediately following that game, we've got Minnesota at Green Bay. Right now, back out to Steve Super in Brian Morozak. 
Thanks a lot, Nick. Second half just underway here at Uniontown High School. Uniontown leading Greensburg-Salem 36-24. to Driving inside and scoring for a quick two for Greensburg-Salem. Simeon Stevens. Steven now has six for the Golden Lions. Yeah, he uh, might have got away with a walk there, Brian. He kind of put his head down, put cradled the ball in. Again. Oh, nice shot that time by Booty Ellis, Brian, on, on the back end for Uniontown. I have a circus shot going down for Ellis. And the Red Raiders back on top, 38-26 to as the Golden Lions now struggle to get it across. But Nowicki able to shovel it back here on the near side to Jackson. Drives inside but misses. Basketball into the hands of Uniontown's Jordan Bratt. Up looking for Crit, deflected out of bounds by Stevens. Will stay with the Red Raiders. And Booty Ellis put up a nice little circus, little scoop shot, Brian, from underneath. Off the inbounds pass. Winfrey there for the bucket right block. Birdie Winfrey now with six tonight. Virginian down 40. Greensburg Salem 26 as we go under seven minutes. Left here in the third. Nowicki brings it across over to Ponzorg. Ponzorg driving inside, lost the handle. And it will be Uniontown's basketball as Ponzorg loses it out of bounds. Good job. Good defense by Birdie Winfrey that time, Brian. Getting him on defense. He's been all over the place. He and Ellis today are really playing great on the defensive end. Crit hands off to Winfrey. Birdie dances up top here for the Red Raiders. Inside to Ellis. Out again to Crit. He's going to launch the three, but off the mark. Deflected out of bounds over to Greensburg-Salem. So the Red Raiders with a 14-point lead here at the 6.35 mark of the third quarter. Ponzork into Jackson in the backcourt. The Red Raiders again in their press. No wiki. Bounce pass again to his left to Jackson. And Jackson drives inside and scores with a scoop shot. Denzel Jackson now with nine points tonight. Golden Lions back to within 12. Union Zap quickly back across. Here's Perkins coming inside off the glass and in. Jeremy Perkins with six in this game. The Red Raiders back on top by 14. Winfrey some pressure there on Nowicki. Deflection out of bounds. We'll stay with the Golden Lions. Good job by Winfrey. That time looked like a soccer goalie, Brian, kicking that one away. Like a hockey goalie. Looked like a guy kicked with a kick save there. Golden Lions quickly back up, and Stevens has it rejected down low by Ellis. Knocked out of bounds and over to Union Town. So the Red Raiders get the basketball back up by 14, 42 to 28. Six minutes left here in the third. Great to bring it across. Cross court far side now to Pratt. 1-3-1 one, one defense zone now from Greensburg-Salem. Golden Lions have to try to mix things up at this point in the game and try to get back in it. Down 14. Pratt dances up top. Lost the dribble. Hard pass down low to Winfrey. Winfrey goes up for the shot and scores. Took it straight to the hoop against the bigger Boyer. 6-5 Boyer. He took it right at him, Brian. Jumped over him. Good job by Winfrey to take it to the hole with authority. Winfrey with eight. The Red Raiders now lead 44-28. to 28. Basketball deflected out of bounds far side. Last touch by Uniontown going out. Another kick save there. A little hand save that time by Winfrey. Just poked it out of bounds. He's been all over the place on the defensive end. Golden Lions bring it across. Ponzork dishes off to his left to Stevens. Jumper from five. Good for Simeon Stevens. And now Greensburg Salem finally starting to hit some shots. They're down only 14, but uh, Red Raiders still continue to score on their end. Stevens has eight for the Golden Lions. Here's Pratt from up top. Three ball on the way. No good off the back of the rim. Ponzork the rebound for Greensburg Salem. Off on the far side to Jackson, who loses it to Ellis. Ellis comes back. Hands off to Crit, who's there to finish the play. Right block. Christian Kesmarski with nine tonight. A Genian Sound 46, Greensburg Salem 30, 448 left here in the third. That time it was Ellis who did a good job of poking it away and just handed it right to Crit for the easy layup. Jackson to Stevens, pulled back to Nowicki, holds left wing, dances out of it, goes cross court far side to Ponzork, and Ponzork called Ooh. for the traveling violation in front of the Greensburg Salem bench. And he slammed the ball to the ground, almost a, that could be a technical foul. And no call, but uh, Uniontown Brown, the pressure now, Winfrey and Ellis and Pratt really uh, ratcheting up the defense and, and giving Greensburg Salem fits, just getting the ball across half court. Pratt into Perkins, out again to crit left side, Pratt. Pratt finds Perkins again, jumper from just inside the foul line, Perkins banks it home. The banks are open. And Greensburg Salem is going to take a timeout with 4.16 left here in the third. It's Uniontown 48, Greensburg Salem 30. We're back in 60 seconds at Autoland Suzuki High School Sports Night on WMBS and Fayette County TV.
Back here at Union Town High School after the timeout, Ponzorg handing off left side and scoring there for the Golden Lions is Stevens again. So Stevens starting to heat up now, Steve, with 10 points, including four here in the third. Most of them all just layups, and they're going to call a traveling call that time. That was either on Winfrey or Perkins, and I think Winfrey took it in there. was probably going to shoot it. He gave it to Perkins, and just a little, a little awkward, a little too close there. And they get a traveling call. Nowicki up and intercepted there by Ellis. Ellis coming back. Bounce pass over to Pratt, who finishes the play with a left-hand left block. Pratt now with 12. The Red Raiders back on top by 18. At 50-32, to 32, they continue to pressure the basketball. We get knocked out of bounds off of Critton out, so it stays with the Golden Lions. But Nowicki having fits with this Red Raiders pressure defense. And now Campbell to check back in for Uniontown. Good. Replacing Perkins. Stevens takes a seat for Greensburg Salem as Ferrari checks into the game. And he gets the basketball here off the inbounds pass. Ferrari in the backcourt, knocked away by Cripp, but stays with it up to Ponzor. Deflected, loose at midcourt, and finally Key picks it up for Greensburg Salem. Up to no wiki, try to feed it down low, and the Red Raiders pick it off again. Here's Crick coming back, out the basket, and a foul, Christian Kesmarski. Now in double figures with 11, can make it 12 here at the free throw line, and Uniontown has opened up. A 20-point lead at 52-32. to 32. And that foul is going to go against number 11, Ferrari. That's his first. And now credit opportunity to cap off the three-point play. The free throw is good for Christian Kesmarski. Crit now with 12. The Union Town lead now 21 over Greensburg-Salem. Ferrari on the near side, back to Ponzorg. Finally across here for the Golden Lions. Ponzorg driving inside, kicks it out. Three ball on the way, and good for Caleb Key, his first points of the night. The sophomore knocks down the three ball. Greensburg Salem back to within 18 of Union Town at 53 to 35. Coach Mankins going deep into the bench. That's a JV player there. It was a kid that was in the JV game. Uh, just trying to find someone that can knock down a shot from the outside. Winfrey over to Critz, and he knocks down another three. That's a second three ball made today. And his 27th made three for the season, putting the Red Raiders back on top by 21. So Crit answering the made three from Caleb Key. Golden Lions get the basketball back. Ponzora comes inside and walks for the basketball. Union's down to get it back up by 21. And just a little out of control, Brian. Just going too fast as Ponzork just going down as a big kid, six foot two. And he is strong, but he just goes out of control. Brad out to Winfrey, launches the three in and out. Rebound down low, nice save from Ellis over to Pratt as they keep it alive on the offensive glass. Campbell out to Crit again. Head fake on the three. Passes back out to Winfrey. Some heady play in there from Ellis, Winfrey, and Pratt, but the Red Raiders do cough it up. Ponzor comes out of the mix with the basketball. Far side for Greensburg-Salem. Over to Ferrari and up the floor. Runner in the lane. Good for Denzel Jackson. Jackson with 11. The Golden Lions back to within 19 of Union Town to 56 to 37. Crit now in the Greensburg-Salem zone. Back to Winfrey between the circles. Off to Crit on the right wing. He's going to launch the three on the way, but short off the front of the rim. Jackson the rebound for Greensburg-Salem. Jackson hop step in the lane. No good on the shot attempt. He went down. Crit picks up the loose basketball. Pressure from behind, but he works it up to Pratt. Hands off to Campbell. Campbell takes it hard to the hole. Count the basket and the foul. Joey Campbell now has 13 points tonight. Good job by Campbell, Brian. Nice feed from Crit to Pratt to Campbell. And Campbell just took it straight in like you're supposed to and got the foul in the hoop. Went strong that time. Third personal foul against the sophomore Caleb Key. And now Campbell an opportunity to cap off the three-point play. The Union Town lead at 21, 58 to 37 over Greensburg-Salem. Campbell's free throw is good. So Campbell now 14 points in this game. The Union Town lead 22 over Greensburg Salem at 59 to 37. Here's Boyer coming across for the Golden Lions, leaning and scoring right block. Patrick Boyer, his first points in the second half, has 13 for the game. It's a 20-point Union Town lead at 59 to 39. Here's Ellis up top, hands off to Jordan Pratt. Pratt now backs off a little bit here man on Denzel now. Jackson. Man-to-man -man defense from Greensburg-Salem. Over to Ellis, far side to Campbell. Touch pass, baseline driving inside as Winfrey a miss, but he's found from behind. And Winfrey took it straight to the hole. Uniontown very aggressive going right to the hoop, Brian. 
Senior down in a comfortable position, up by 20 at 59 to 39, as we go under a minute well, that foul left here in the third quarter. Number two, Simeon Stevens. That's his third. Uh, fouls are going to become a big problem for Greensburg Salem. Team third here in the second half. Winfrey misses his first free throw attempt, and Bertie Winfrey having a tough night at the foul line. Now 0 of 3, very uncharacteristic of his free throw performance throughout the course of the season. He came into this game 16 of 22. And the bigger problem for Greensburg Salem is they're down by 20, and, and they're having trouble scoring and getting the ball across half court. Winfrey now for a second free throw attempt. It's up on the way and good. Winfrey now with nine. His mother, Lakia, actually celebrating her birthday here at the game yeah. today, Steve. As Denzel Jackson works it up to Stevens, who finishes the play. Stevens now with 12 after that make. Greensburg Salem back to within 19 of Union Town to 60 to 41. Brad coming inside to Winfrey. Little scoop shot with the left hand, no good. Greensburg Salem the rebound. Up the floor as Nowicki gets rejected by Ellis. Into the hands of Christian Kazmarski. Crit no look pass. Left side and Xavier Ellis finishes the play. Ellis now with four. The Red Raiders lead back up to 21 at 62 to 41. Down 18 seconds left here in the third. Down low. Stevens, check that. Yes, that is Stevens down low picking up the basketball and a foul called here on the Red Raiders. It's either going to be on Ellis or Winfrey, and it's on Ellis, that's his second, and not going to be, a, looks like Birdie's got a little shaken up there, Brian, he's coming off, looking at his knee. Miles Jackson checks into the game for Uniontown, off the inbounds pass, Boyer scores for Greensburg-Salem, Boyer with 15. But it's Union Town by 19 right now, 62 to 43. Crit up top. Nice pass over to Ellis. Pulls back to Pratt. Quit finish the play. Second attempt. Again, no good at the buzzer. It's not going to count. The referees say no. So after three, it's Union Town 62. Greensburg Salem 43. Back with a fourth and 60 seconds. And Otto Land Suzuki High School Sports Night on WMBS and Fayette County TV. Union Town 62. Greensburg Salem 43. As we get ready to start. The fourth quarter, the Red Raiders with the basketball, moving left to right on either your radio dial or your television sets. So we bring you this game on both WMBS and Fayette County TV tonight. Jordan Pratt, far side. And a foul called inside. So we have Miles Jackson. Number 15. Yep. Brian, turnovers are... Is strongly in front of favor of Uniontown. 20 to 10 now in favor of Uniontown. Nowicki launching a three for the Golden Lions in and out. Campbell tried the rebound, actually almost put it back in, but luckily for the Red Raiders, the attempt was no good. Uniontown picks it back up. Jackson Great baseline, save. nice save. Out to Ellis who launches the three out the front of the rim, no good. Deflected out of bounds over to Greensburg Salem with 7:21 left in regulation. It's Uniontown 62, Greensburg Salem 43. 50, 50. Now a whistle down low. Oh, uh, substitution. As Bertie Winfrey comes into the game, replacing Miles Jackson. And Jackson goes out after a quick stint. He's Brian. He could probably get a lot of minutes on a lot of teams right now. He's just having trouble getting in the game. Now a foul called away from the ball here. That's going to be on number 14, Boyer. He doesn't like it, and he's told letting the ref know. And Needs to be careful out there. And Mankins doesn't like it either. And I think you're seeing a little bit of frustration now from Greensburg Salem, Brian. They're just getting, you know, manhandled in this game, to be honest. They're just uh, getting a little frustrated. Uniontown looking to improve to 9-1 and one on the season and 3-0 and oh in section play with the win. As we say, Greensburg Salem also undefeated in section play, entering this game at 2-0. and oh. For the Golden Lions, 0-6 oh in non-conference games. Ellis drives inside, misses. For the Red Raiders, able to clean it up. Campbell over to Pratt, another missed left block. Basketball still loose. Campbell finds it again, goes back up and scores again. Wow. Joey Campbell matching a career high now with 16 points. Also had 16 earlier on this season against Albert Gallatin and Derry. Three golden lines there, Brian stood there and watched the ball. Campbell just went over and took it and shot it in. Nice play by Campbell. Knocked out of bounds in front of us. Jackson yeah. triggers it back in here to Stevens. Thought you were going to make a play on that ball, Brian. I was attempting to. 
had to save Nick Barczyk from getting hurt here. Our statistician courtside as Greensburg-Salem takes it inside and scores. That was Stevens on the made floater. Here's Kesmarski back on the other side for Uniontown. Finishing the play with a left hand. Crit now with 17 points in this game. And we have a timeout on the floor with 6.13 left here in the fourth. Uniontown leading at 66-45. to 45. And we're back in 30 seconds at Ida Lane Suzuki High School Sports Night on WMBS and Fayette County TV. Welcome back to Uniontown High School. Red Raiders lead Greensburg-Salem 66-45. to 45. 6.09 left here in the fourth. Greensburg-Salem with the basketball. As Jackson brings it across on the right wing to Nowicki. Nowicki pressured by Pratt. He's trapped. Able to work out of it. Down low to Boyer. Boyer shot. Up no good. Offensive rebound missing on the putback. Stevens. Yeah, you got to make that one. Pratt comes down with the rebound for Uniontown. Up to Crit. Out again to Birdie Winfrey. Winfrey takes it back inside and scores. Birdie now in double figures with 11. A little scoop shot, Brian, from Winfrey. To put the Red Raiders up 23, 68 to 45, with 5:34 left in regulation. Still in the press. No wiki. Off to his left, driving in. Shot attempt off the glass, no good. Winfrey another rebound. Numbers favor the Red Raiders. Crit right block finishes the play. Christian Kesmarski with 19 tonight. That's a game high right now. As the Red Raiders lead by 25, 70 to 45. 5-11 left here in the fourth. And the Red Raiders force another turnover. Ellis up to Crit. Hands off to Jordan Pratt. Intercepted, though, by Ponzork. Down low for Greensburg-Salem. Ponzork bounces it forward to Stevens. And a whistle here in front of the scorer's table. We have a timeout on the floor with five minutes left in this game. Uniontown 70. Greensburg-Salem 45. We'll take a quick timeout as well. This is Uniontown High School Basketball on 590 WMBS and Fayette County Television back in 60 seconds. Greensburg-Salem with the basketball, but Jackson losing it here to Perkins, and Perkins drives back, misses on the runner. As Jackson comes out of the mix with a rebound for Greensburg-Salem, his floater back on the other side, good for Denzel Jackson. Jackson now with 13 with the Golden Lions. Still trailed by 23 at Uniontown 70. Greensburg-Salem 47, 424 left in regulation. Grid hands off to Jordan Pratt. Pratt, nice bounce pass inside Xavier Ellis. Floater in the lane, short off the front of the rim. Rebound contested for and won by Birdie Winfrey. Birdie hands off to Crit. Crit floater in the lane, goes down again. Got away with a walk there. I think Brian, he shuffled his feet, but he was in all that traffic. And then he just put up a nice soft floater. Crit with 21 in this game. Ponzorg taking it inside for Greensburg-Salem. Shot up on the way, no good. And a timeout called by the Uniontown bench with 3.50 left in regulation. Uniontown 72, Greensburg-Salem 47. This is Ottawa and Suzuki High School Sports Night on 590 WMBS. And on Fayette County TV, back in 60 seconds. So we come back, Miles Jackson a make for the Red Raiders after the timeout. But Greensburg-Salem coming back on the other side as Ponzorg scores. The Red Raiders, I think Coach K took a timeout, wanted to slow things down a little bit, have the Uniontown Raiders run some offense and try to milk this clock and get out of here with a win. Brad over to Winfrey. Winfrey coming inside. Is fouled here by the Golden Lions with 3.08 to play. Uniontown still has most of their starters in the game. Campbell set to check back in here for Uniontown. That foul. Whistled on Greensburg Salem's. Well, actually, it's posted here. It's going to be on Uniontown. We'll see which way no, it goes no. here. No, it's on Jackson, number three. Six okay, seven. you're right. The Red Raiders work it in. Miles Jackson out to Campbell. And now Winfrey between the circles. Final three minutes here at Uniontown High School. Red Raiders leading this game by 25 over Greensburg Salem. Here's Critteliner left of the lane. No good. Red Raider hurt behind the play. That's Jordan Pratt. Pratt slow and getting up. The Golden Lions will score on the other side. Ponzork finishing the play. We have a Centers for Rehab Services injury timeout with Jordan Pratt down. We'll take a quick timeout as well. Uniontown 74. Greensburg Salem 51. Back in 60 seconds. And Adelaide Suzuki High School Sports Night on WMBS and Fayette County TV. Nate Guerriere comes in with. Lyric Ellis, DeAndre Winfrey, 
number 44, Nate Garrigan, and, and uh, of course, Miles Jackson, and the crowd favorite, uh, Chris Elam. He uh, seems to have a lot of fans out of the crowd when he gets a chance to score, Brian. And back to Jordan Pratt. He's trying to walk things off, Steve, on the far side of the sideline. I don't think we'll see the Uniontown starters the rest of the night as Larry Ellis drives inside and scores. Yeah, the Uniontown starters are done for the evening. And good news is Pratt's walking around trying to stretch things out. So hopefully he just got a little bit of a bruise, maybe. Golden Lions with it in the Uniontown zone. 2-10 left here in the fourth. Uniontown 76, Greensburg-Salem 51. Ponzork handing off to Caleb Key. Back out now to Nick Allwine. Jumper there from Allwine. Short, deflected out of bounds. We'll stay with Greensburg-Salem. Uniontown, DeAndre Winfrey, Lyric Ellis, Chris Elam, Nate Garrier, and Miles Jackson. Golden lines to trigger it in, and they throw it right to their bench. And one of the players actually sitting on the Greensburg-Salem bench, and when things are going wrong, Steve, yeah, those true. are the kind of things that happen. Yep, it's just like anything that could go wrong for Greensburg-Salem is going wrong right now, Brian. As we go under two minutes left in this game, driving in there is Lyric Ellis for the Red Raiders, a miss. And a traveling violation off the rebound called on Nick Allwine for Greensburg-Salem. Yeah, Allwine didn't like the call, but I don't know what he was complaining about. He fall down with the ball and your feet move. It's going to be a travel. Lyric into DeAndre Winfrey launches the three. No good. Again deflected out of bounds. It will be Uniontown's basketball. And that's one of the more dominating wins the Red Raiders have had over Greensburg-Salem, Steve, that I could remember over the last 10 years or so. Up by 25 with 90 seconds left. Lyric Ellis, another three-point attempt in and out. Golden Lions with the rebound. Joe Leo dribbling back down the floor. Right of the lane here to Key. Back up top to Leo. Bounce pass over to Ferrari. Now near side. No Wiki's going to launch the three. A bit too strong. Scrum for the rebound. Picked up by Antonio Ferrari for Greensburg-Salem. Try to feed it inside. Looking there for Leo. Intercepted by Miles Jackson. Miles, some fancy dribbling through center. Hands off. Looking for... Elam on the far side, and Elam able to corral the pass in. Back over to Jackson. Nice. Good feed inside. Gary Air fouled from behind. Jackson showing some skills, Brian. Some nice uh, ball movement there by the Red Raiders. With 59 seconds left in regulation, Nate Guerriere going to the free throw line for the Red Raiders. Guerriere one of two this season from the foul line. Scored his only point this season against the Derry Trojans. We'll get two here. First of two short off the front of the rim. So Uniontown Steve will travel on Tuesday to take on South Moreland. I have the game on WMBS with our Sprouse Insurance Group pregame show set for 7 o'clock. Gary Ear misses both free throw attempts. Key the rebound for Greensburg Salem. Up there, South Moreland on the dark gym with a rubber floor. And they have another young team this yeah. year. Of course, they knocked off the Red Raiders a season ago. Now, Wiki loses the handle here to Lyric Ellis. Lyric, hard pass down looking for Miles Jackson, deflected out of bounds by the Golden Lions, will be Union Towns basketball. NFL playoff action on the way next on WMBS. Stay tuned for that. And more exciting community programming on the way next on Fayette County Television as Gary Air scores inside for Uniontown. Nate Gary Air. Uniontown 78. Greensburg Salem 51. No wiki banking home a shot for the Golden Lions. His first two points of the game. The yeah. freshman Sam Nowicki. Yeah, that's surprising. He's been playing a lot, but it just hasn't been able to score. Averaging seven and a half a game. Gary Aralina and a miss for Uniontown. The Golden Lions another rebound under 15 seconds left. And a foul called on the far side. As Ferrari fouled, 11 seconds left. That will go on Union Sounds. Miles Jackson, his second personal. First of two. Up on the way and good for Antonio Ferrari, the 5'7 sophomore guard for the Greensburg Salem Golden Lions. Second free throw. Good again from Ferrari. And now Uniontown will wind down the final 10 seconds. Lyric Ellis 
Try to drive inside, lost the handle there to Nick Allwine. And that'll do it. Union Sound wins it 78 to 55 over Greensburg Salem. Back to tell you all about it in just a moment here on 590 WMBS and on Fayette County TV. Welcome back to Union Town High School. Brian Morozak along with Steve Superk here in our Peachens Pharmacy post-game show. The Union Town Red Raiders have knocked off the Greensburg Salem Golden Lions tonight by a score of 78 to 55. The win improving Union Town to 9 and 1 on the season and 3 and 0 in conference play. The loss dropping Greensburg Salem to 2 and 7 overall and 2 and 1 in the conference. Steve Superk has our final stats. Brought to you by the Fayette County by Local Network. Steve, okay, thanks, Brian. For the Greensburg Salem uh, Golden Lions who fall to 2 and 7 on the year, 2 and 1 in section play. Simeon C Stevens had 14 points, Denzel Jackson with 13, Antonio Ferrari with 2, Patrick Boyer led the way with 15 points, Sam Nowicki with 2, Caleb Key with 3 points, and Max Ponzorek finished tonight with 6 points. They had 8 in the first, 16 in the second, 19 in the third, and 12 in the fourth period, 55 for the game. For the Uniontown Red Raiders, Bertie Winfrey finishes with 11 points. Christian Kazmarski leads the way with 21 points. Booty Ellis with 4. Jordan Pratt with 12 points. Lyric Ellis with 2. Miles Jackson with 2. Jeremy Perkins with 8. Joey Campbell, another fine game with 16 points. And Nate Guerriere with 2. The Red Raiders had 19 in the first, 17 in the second, 26 in the third, 16 in the fourth, 78 for the ball game. And turnovers were a big favor in front of the Red and, and the Red Raiders' favor. 25 turnovers for Greensburg Salem to just 15 for the Red Raiders. Rebounding edge slightly in the favor of Uniontown at 31 to 29 and assists mostly led by Christian Kazmarski again uh, with 22 assists uh, to just 14 for Greensburg Salem. Final score 78 to 55. Uniontown wins it in convincing fashion. Uniontown returns to action against Southmoreland on Tuesday. A game we'll have here on WMBS. You look at Greensburg Salem. They're going to have a stern test up next at Mount Pleasant on Tuesday. Yeah, Brian, I think uh, you know everything that Coach Mankins told us about his team being young inexperienced. Uh, we saw it on the floor tonight. They uh, they had trouble getting the ball across half court, and when they did, they just can't, could not seem to connect on shots. I mean, they were taking shots from close range and missing badly, and it's going to be, you know, if you can't put the ball in the basket, it's going to be a tough year. I'll wrap things up from Uniontown High School tonight. Again, your final score, Uniontown 78 and Greensburg Salem 55. Thanks as always to my broadcast partner, Steve Suprick, Nick Kraft back at WMBS Central, and, and Dave Sislerick and the crew here at Fayette County Television vision for their help as well. Again, your final score, Uniontown 78 and Greensburg Salem 55. This is Brian Morozak saying have yourselves a pleasant good evening and join us again soon for more high school basketball action here on WMBS and Fayette County TV.